Welcome, witches and wizards. So we realized that we have not done a Harry Potter video. And we're like, you know, <laughs> a decade late <laughs> talking about the books. Yeah, but luckily for us, a new book came out this year and a new movie. We're we talking about some Harry Potter videos. Harry Potter. And we're drinking some Scottish breakfast tea. Most of the time when you think about magical girls, it's like an anime or sure. manga yeah, idea. Yeah, Sailor Moon. Uh-huh. But the women of Harry Potter, mm -hmm. they're a little different, I feel. Yeah, they're regular people who have this extraordinary ability. And the women, I feel like, you know, it is Harry Potter and the blah, blah, blah. But the women are so interesting and especially in the films don't have the time within the story to really get explored um, because these women are rad. Obviously, Hermione is incredible. Ginny needs a whole book oh series all by herself. Ginny! Ginny, like, goes and joins. She becomes a professional Quidditch player. Like, she's just incredibly Who saw rad. that coming anyway? Oh she could have done anything she wanted to, but she loves Quidditch, so she that's like, what she did. Nah, I'm a Hollyhead Harpy for life now. I defeated half of Voldemort. Yes. A whole yes. half of Voldemort. Mm-hmm. Gone. Luna. Luna's incredible, obviously. And even like the ones that sort of got cut out of the movies, I feel like. Um, Alicia Spinett, Katie yeah. Bell, Angelina, Angelina Johnson. Johnson. <sighs> yeah. The weird recasting, obviously, of Lavender Brown in the movie. And like the uh, merging of Parvati and Padma Patel. Yeah, like, like they're, they're separate in for the Yule Ball, and then and then they, they give kind of both of everything. I don't know. Sure, in a movie you've got to kind of streamline, so mm -hmm. that's fine. But you know, yeah, we just we just latch onto the girls. What can yeah, you say? Yeah, I think one thing that's so enduring about Harry Potter. Harry Potter was a fandom that is so much about the world because it's this fantasy world building thing, unlike something like the X Files, which the fandom is so focused around those characters or even like Buffy, which is just about a core set of characters. Harry Potter is such an immersive world that, you know, I truly believe Angelina Johnson does have her own full adventures on her own. And it's really easy also then to imagine yourself in that world. Exactly. Hence, like, the whole feelings that everybody has yeah. about their house that they were sorted yeah. in and, like, you know, what they would be like if they had it. And mm -hmm. this new thing with everybody getting a Patronus. Like, yeah. um, you know, feeling very... Uh, kind of uh, emotionally like attached. Yeah. And, 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 yeah, and some amount of ownership mm -hmm. of, over that world. Yeah. And it's like, it's also so universal that it's kind of like everybody has this shared cultural touchstone. Mm -hmm. Like the whole world does. Yeah, I think because <laughs> Rowling was writing from such a uniquely, specifically British perspective, this is about British boarding school. There's so much that's so specifically and uniquely British about it that it does become more universal. We're, we're able to say, oh, that's this thing, but I can connect to it. Yeah, it's funny how that works. So Miyazaki says the same thing mm -hmm. of like, you can't write something that's for everybody. You can only write something that's very specifically for a very specific group of people. Mm -hmm. And then everybody ends up loving it yeah. because it was so specific. Like how many people watch My Big Fat Greek Wedding and they're like, that's my family. Even, and, you even know, though it couldn't possibly like, be. Having a very specific point of view is like the key to universal. Universality. Exactly. And I think that's something that the original Harry Potter books do so well and make especially the female characters so intriguing. You know, you get to have such a great variety mm -hmm. of complicated, different mm -hmm. female characters. Hermione and Molly Weasley are totally different people. They're not the same at all. And mm -hmm. it's and they're both on the same side. So it's not like what differentiates them is that one's a villain and one isn't. Oh my and God. you have the same difference between Bellatrix Lestrange and Narcissa Malfoy on the bad mm -hmm. bad side, but like that they're so different from each other. Yeah. I feel like a really core scene from the books that just exemplifies this is in the seventh book when Fleur is getting married to Bill. And there is this moment when Fleur, Molly Weasley, Hermione, and Ginny are all four in the tiny burrow kitchen Ugh. trying 
to figure some shit out. <laughs> and it is just this moment of these four strong, incredible women who are so different that there is a lot of inherent tension in that space, even though they all love each other and they all want to do something, the mm -hmm. same thing. You get like a really, really good variety, mm -hmm. which is, I think, kind of rare mm -hmm. with female character, with like a story. Like there's so many that you just get one and Hermione could have been that one, Yeah, you know? Uh, nobody would have blamed her for taking, well, we would have, but. Yeah, we absolutely <laughs> like, would have. We want more. <laughs> but, um, but you know, like the world would not have thought there was anything wrong yeah, if totally. Hermione had just been the only girl. Totally. One of my favorite moments, and this is actually a moment from the movies. I love it in the books too, but the way the movie was able to um, make it happen is so awesome. It's the scene where Hermione takes the Polyjuice Potion and she's Bellatrix and she goes into Gringotts. They had Emma Watson do the scene, pretending to be Helena Bonham Carter's version of Bellatrix Lestrange and Helena Bonham Carter watched her do it and then copied her doing that. So like you have an actor playing a character who's playing a different character, but who's playing the actor playing that character. Like it's so many layers of amazing. And, and what works. and you see every one of those layers, not independently, but like coming together to make that scene mm -hmm. work mm -hmm. so, so, so well. So we should read Alexa Play with an army female characters from Harry Potter. Yeah. Which is gonna be hard because there are a lot so of many. favorites. There's so many. Oh my god. Who is the least heard? Who needs more book spaces? Oh, I know. Marietta. Yes. Okay, so Marietta. She's the one who tells she's on Dumbledore. Snitch. She's the snitch. And Hermione punishes her pretty harshly, I think. Well, she curses her for her entire life. It's so pretty that's awful. Intense. And the thing is, if you think if you think about it for just five minutes. You can have so much empathy for her because she, like, her parents work for the ministry. Yeah. What was she going to do? Yeah. I'm sure she didn't want to. She didn't love being the snitch. No. She just, like, was really conflicted about what the right thing to do was, and she made a choice that we all smugly know is wrong. Yeah. But, come on. Yeah. I would like to see her rehabilitated in print. Mm -hmm. Get to tell her side, because, gosh. Mm -hmm. I got to elect McGonagall. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm kind of going for president of everything. She's so great. Cat president. <gasps> cat president. President <laughs> cat. And she's so calm. Like, you know, Hillary Clinton kind of reminds me of her a little bit in the, like, being able to keep your cool. Yeah. And do the hard work and keep your center strong. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Who gets the army? Who Gets the army. I mean, like, I kind of feel like Ginny should get the army. Oh, that, oh my God, that's so <laughs> obvious. Of course Ginny gets the army. I mean, I just, she's small, but she's fierce. Oh my God. You yes. know? Yes. And she, like, she can totally run the table with an army. Absolutely. And also be, you know, responsible with it. Yes, yes. She I would can. trust Ginny. Uh-huh. Oh, man. Oh, that hard but it's good mm -hmm. it's good mm -hmm. mm. Woo. mischief managed every 90 years 12 gods return as young people they are loved they are hated in two years they're all dead the year is 24 it's happening again it's happening now